what is up everybody welcome back to another farming similar 19 video and yes we are doing a video today we're back on the realistic farming roleplay on the Missouri River Valley we got some help today as well we got Shrek here sitting up on the 7R we got the combine here masters up on the other side and also guys, before today's videos get started, YouTube has told me that 26% 26, 26 of you guys are yet not subscribed that watch the channel. So if y'all want to help the channel out, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and also hit the like button if you're enjoying the realistic farming series. We're going to get in here, do some harvesting. We're going to do probably two, two to three time lapses depending shoot about a 30 minute video so Shrek you ready I'm as ready as I'll ever be let's do it am I dropping a straw uh, swap yes you are I'll drop a bit of straw swap on the first lap around, and then the rest is all going to be blown apart. Just to kind of keep the server lag down a little bit. Yeah, don't try to run up on me too, too much. Mm-hmm. I got 1,200 liters. And if I'm not mistaken, I can hold almost 10,000 liters in this combine. <clears throat> if somebody wants to look that up real quick. Which combine are you using? The 560 T. 560. Good hold about. Uh... Two thousand liters. Called it. Oops. Wrong key. Also, guys, if y'all have not realized yet, yes, I did get my new keyboard finally. Go ahead and run, keep this thing unloaded as much as possible. How fast are you going? Six. No more. There you go. Yes, guys, there is a few little weeds in here as well. Mm 
and also Farming Simulator 19 has made an announcement that they are doing an ex another expansion run and it is going to be a two year process as EIT Foods and John Deere are partnering up to help with some more realistic style farming for Farming Simulator 19. So if you guys are going to be hanging around for a little while, Farming Simulator 19 is going to be sticking around for the next two years. I figured I'd give you all that little bit of a plug so you all know. And also, we're working on getting getting up there to being partnered with Giants. You about half full? <clears throat> no, not even close. I'm like quarter. Actually, not even a quarter. All right, guys. So we got it figured out. And apparently the in-game combine and the in-game header were glitched, glitched out. So that's what our issue was. We wanted up selling that, leasing a, another combine, and we went ahead and bought a new header. But this is a much bigger combine like I said, we're leasing it instead of owning it. So it's going to cost us a little money over time, but at the same time, it'd be better to hopefully keep us rolling and hopefully we don't have another glitch out. Oh, I'm out of water. <clears throat> I do like this combine, though. Is this one of SIID's combines? Um, uh, I don't remember which one I put. I don't. I had the in game one. What is it? Yes. What is it? I had the I had the in game model one, and then I have the others, the other combines. I don't know which one I put. Uh, I think this is, is one S of SIID. S sixty, isn't it? Or S six hundred something? Yeah, you should be able to look at it in the garage. Oh yeah. Unreleased. Unreleased. S690 2012. Yeah, I think that's his. Really nice machine. And what's the capability on this one? Is it 1400? Or 14,100? Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I'm at 4,000 liters at the moment. The one I own, I think. 4,200. Well, the I can one, sit here and watch a whole movie then. The one I own is, they could hold 2,200, I think it is. I don't have one. Well, you got the extension, didn't you? No, I actually didn't. I have it. I have a small extension on it, but I don't have I'm the talking big about the grain. I'm talking about the grain extension. Grain tank extension. Yeah, I have a smaller extension tank on my um 
on my combine. So I don't have the I don't have the big one yet. I'm gonna upgrade that once I get a chance to. Oh, that's the spot I'll get in when I get back and forth. Or I could run over it. <laughs> run over it. I can give it a strike. So what I'm doing is I'm harvesting one part of my field, and then I'm going to harvest the other parts out. It's a lot easier to do it that way. A little bit better with the longer pipe. Yeah. I forgot to put that round baler in. Of course you did. <laughs> what round baler? I found a uh, decent John Deere round baler put in, put in for the realistic series. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, the uh, 461M. Yeah. Nice model. Still needs a little work. Actually, I might wind up dragging this guy's into two videos. Instead of just doing this one field in one big piece. And I know for a fact I'm taking a little bit wider swath too. Yes. So you should be filling up just a fraction quicker than what you were before. Mm -hmm. This tractor just keeps getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. Well, that's the whole thing about a tractor. <laughs> but say, if it's sitting in the shed, it ain't getting dirty. That's right. It's not working. Combine's been sitting in the shed for way too long. If it's sitting in the shed, it's getting dusty. With masters, masters combine's getting dusty. Yeah, this is a brand new combine, so. Oh, um, mine was brand new. Dirty. I was brand spanking new. This is the first time I used it. And what's it? A couple weeks in the shed? Oh, yeah. She's on vacation. Huh? Master's combine is on vacation. Well, it's not on like vacation anymore. It's in, it's in the field harvesting. Hmm. Get back to work. Vacation's over. Oh, you're going the other way now. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, never mind. No, it ain't, because I won't fill up by the time I get back. Get up there. I'll unload on the go on the way down the hill. Plus, I'm also going to straighten it up a little bit.
with a little bit of a turn to it. By the way, guys, also, there is possibility some more John Deere equipment coming to Farming Simulator 19 as well. And if you have Farming Simulator 20 for phone, for mobile, and switch, you all should be able to get a expansion pack coming up. Little lag spike there. Yeah, eight clock spike. I'm still in the menu. I don't know, but you told me my game's gonna really crash. It is big oof. Well, the only way to go now is to me disappear. Only one way to find out. Are you almost full? Uh, I'm about halfway. Okay. I'm going to go uh, back and forth here. Give me a little bit more space to turn around. I'm stuck in my combine. That's Did you just Harvard. lag out, Master? I'm still in the server. I am stuck in my combine. I can't get out. More did you? Oh, never mind. I'm still moving. I'm, I'm still moving. harvesting. I'm still harvesting. I'm still the combine not moving for a second. Hey, I got the end there. You want to come unload me? I'm at 7,000. Okie dokie. 50%. Since this combine just yelled at me, said, hey, uh, you're 50% now, unload. I'm too full. I need to go to there the bathroom. Have you guys heard anything about your Millennial Farmer map update? Mm, I haven't really been paying attention to any mod updates yet. This past week. Yeah, I haven't been. Oh, did you work? All I know is it's gotta go back through testing. Oof. You empty? Yep. Yeah, I'm stuck in my combine, guys. You are stuck. Yeah, I can't get you, out of you it. Physically, you can't not, you cannot tab to another vehicle? Nope. I cannot do anything. Huh. Cause I've had that happen to me a couple times. And it's been a mod. I don't know what mod it is. We don't have universal passenger in here, do we? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. Because that's, that's the mod that usually does it for me. But we shouldn't be talking about mods as we're uh, recording either. 
That's right, we shouldn't be. Oh, yeah. <sighs> well, looks like I'm going to have to force crash my game. Ooh. I'm turning them strobes off. And then strobes are nauseous. Yes. That's why I don't run the uh, beacon, especially when you got the realistic beacons. I don't have that mod. And it's part or, of the settings. It is? Yeah. Oh. It's part of your settings, so it's, when you got realistic beacons on, it's extremely noxious. Oh, I know what you mean by that. Yeah, it irritates you. It makes it so that you can see the little worldly thing going round and round and round, right? Yeah. Okay. And it also gives you a migraine because it makes it more realistic. It's got more of a flash to it. So now you know how I felt when you were, uh, had yeah. the beacons next to me. How full is the semi? Uh, I want to say we're at about half. We'll fill it up and sell the load for the video. To finish it off. Yep. Yes, Trick, you're gonna watch the video tomorrow and be like, yeah, Moore's right, those things are obnoxious. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. Plus, I'm running on high graphics, so it's even worse. I can't run on high graphics. Especially on a wind chaser. I can now. This computer's a lot better than the older one was. Better processor, better graphics card. I'm at 54, 55. 56 57 Not bad for first person, eh? Mm-hmm Not bad at all 62 I'll let you know when it beeps at me I think it just When does it beep? 80? It beeps at 50, 80, and 100. And I believe it just beeped at me, because... Or maybe not. It'd be about 7,000. There it goes. We're at 50%. Whoops, okay, cruise control doesn't work on my wheel. <laughs> well, I'm off, guys. Hi, right, Master. Hey, um, I drew a video, um, when you call over to my farm, I drew a video.
You know me, <laughs> Parker Machines. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I okay. do that. I'll right, park thanks. them on the edge of the field for you. Thank you. Alright. See you guys. Right. Talk to you later. You empty or you still got a bit in you? Uh, I got a little bit. Okay, cab view is laggy. Not for me. I've been running this stuff first person on this map every time. The reason why it's laggy is because I've got a very strong feeling that the new 2020 series John Deere's are very high poly. about in between in between the custom mining 9r is worse than those hmm that's a high poly mod it could just be the fact that i'm on a server uh, it's not hosted by me it's hosted by g portal so everybody's earning that uh it's everybody's internet, it's not the, uh, one person. I have to say, I'm getting this field knocked out fairly quick. And you're not missing much for first person. And that called knowing where your machine is at all times. Something I don't have. Or no, not something. A trait, that's the word. I'm using big boy words. <laughs> Well, uh, first person's probably one of the hardest things to do. Especially if you don't know measurements. Yeah. Which I understand the measurements, where the machine is, how wide it is. So I have that understanding. A lot of people don't have that understanding. They think yes, they can just the jump in a machine. Can. They think they can jump in a machine and just go with it. I'm sorry, some of us are old fashioned. We don't use GPS. Or guidance steering. Unlike Zach Johnson. Nick Walker's another one. They use GPS? Oh yeah, they do. Yep. A lot of the farmers that run combines run GPS. There's a few that don't run GPS. Hate to say it, but the uh, better farmers out there are the ones that don't run GPS because they actually know where their machines are. Better measurements, better eyes. Where are you at? 5100. How full is that cart? I emptied it. The semi is almost full. Yeah, semi is at 61. Semi is at 61? Mm hmm. 
Are you tabbing? No. Okay, I, I hope open. not. Why do you lag? Nah, because I don't see you running. Oh. I did not tap. Yeah, I'm at, uh, 64. 6472 is what the monitor was reading. So, in reality of playing farming similar, yes, guys, you can run realistic. Without no HUD, you pretty much can see how much you're holding. I'm and the combine. I'm gonna run this 6M back to the farm. Unless you need it. Mm, no, I don't want need it. Should I go sell this header trader? Yeah. Okay. But yes, guys. Oop. Lag spike. Yep, that was like spike server lag. But reality here, guys, is a lot of the farmers or the newer generation farmers run GPS, and honestly, that's just another electronic thing to go wrong. So, the a lot of the old-fashioned farmers don't run that stuff. Well, I'm gonna have to head off in a, row in a couple minutes. You're good. I think I'm about ready to wrap it up here in a I minute or so. Better trailer sold, and then we might hop off. Yeah, just park the six M back here, down here with the uh, other machines. Mm -hmm. There's more money for us. I want to try to use a lot of this money that I used for uh, selling that combine to pay the loan off. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to bring a tractor back to the farm? Uh, right here where we are. Okay. I got to call John Deere and have them bring me out a demo baler. Nice. Wink, wink. Yeah, which bailer? 461M. Nice. I wonder if Ravenport's got one. I know the man. I, I see if he's got one laying around somewhere. I know there's a deal. There's a deal Oop. like three hours away. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of them. Uh, Plot Valley, I think. Uh, I rather use Ravenport. I don't know Plot Valley. No. I know the owner of Ravenport. Well, I'm gonna head off. All right, have a good night. I'll talk to you later. One second. Good night.
Alright guys, so we're gonna unload this. There we go. I think the semi is full. Oh dang. Yeah, we still got some grain in here. But the front of the trailer is full now. Go ahead and fold that down. And let's pull out our smartphone here. Let's find out where the best price is for oats. Sixteen five three. 1885 where is that at oh that's right up the road yep that's right up the road from us guys so we're gonna hop out here GPS is set Now we're rolling. There's our uh, so Yep, we're on top of it. I'm going to unload. There we go. We'll get ourselves rolling on back here. 
back to the farm at least. Or at least back to the field. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up here. Hopefully y'all did enjoy today's episode. I know it's a little different. Just harvesting, it gets boring. But we try to change it up, do a little few other things, try to be different. But uh, I do apologize for the beginning of the video being scuffed up a little bit. And not actually getting uh, the right kind of thing going on. Due to the fact that we had a little bit of a glitch issue on the server. It happens. And we tend to fix it as soon as possible. So we did. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. And again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. If you all are watching the channel and you have not subscribed yet, please do. We're on our way to 1400. Working our way to becoming a Giants partner. And if you guys also want to help, I will leave my Twitch link in the description as well. Go give me a follow there. That will help the channel out tremendously. And also help me out on getting to that goal of becoming a Giants partner. But other than that, guys, we're almost back to the field here. Thank you all again, and we'll see you all in the next one. later on.